So this will be the part two of our REST API in .NET, and in this part we are going to be doing a post, a put, a post put and delete that is insert, update, and delete. So in the first part we set up uh, the API and we able to do select. So we have a list of items that came back, uh, as you can see right here. So let's go to start from the part two. This time the types are also right there in my website. So you can see making post request right here. That's, uh, uh, that's the section four. All right, so let's go back here. So I'm going to stop this application from running. And if I go back to my controller, so let's go back to the controller file. So you have friend controller right here. So one thing you can notice is that we have a get and it tells us slash API slash friends and it's HTTP get. From here, you can always write any one you want. Now, we have another one. In this case, we have slash API slash friends slash five. That is more or less like get by ID. But here it's called get. The method is get. But if you enter this route, it's going to come to this method and return the by ID. So the, the function is simply going to, what we are going to simply do here is simply to a filter this list of friends and just uh, return uh, find the record that corresponds to the ID that is coming. So I would like to copy the code from my website. So that's it right here. So I'm, I'm going to just copy it and paste because there's no point typing it out because I already have it so we can save the time. So let me just paste this in a second. Um, please. All right, so we have friend, friend is equal to friend dot find friend, such that friend dot ID is equal to the passing ID. And so I'm going to just return friend. Now, what we are going to return is not a string, but a friend object. So I'm going to allow it to be this way. Okay, so um, instead of just running the application to try to test it, I'm going to, let's just do everything and then we test all of them at the same time. But if you are following this video, please feel free to pause the video and test what you already have to make sure it's working. So at this time, we now have to do posts. So now we are not using a database, so we can have uh, a friend coming in from the, from the as a request. And what we are going to do, we are going to simply add it to the list and return the updated list. So I'm going to also copy the code from my website. I think it's quite simple, to, it's quite easy. So it's simply friends that add friends and return the updated list. So we are going to make a bit of refactoring on uh, this code. So I'm going to just paste it first. And now we want to return, instead of void, we are going to return a list of friends, a list of friends and what is coming in from the body should be a friend object. So I'm going to say friend, friend, like this, okay? So what's going to happen is when this friend comes in as a request, it's going to be extracted from the body and added to the list and then return the updated list. Let's do the next one. This time we are trying to do put. How do we do put? So we are going to first do a find. We find this item. Once we find it, we are going to update it using the friend coming in as a request. We are going to use it to update this, uh, the one we found, and then uh, return the updated list. Okay. I'm going to also copy from my website. Um, the codes are quite easy. This one may require a bit of explanation, so let's copy and paste it first, and then I'm going to explain it to you. So in this case, we are doing a put request, so this is a placeholder for the put request, so I'm going to just paste this code right here. So what's coming in from the body should be a friend object, so I'm going to say uh, friend, friend, and we also have from the URL, we have the ID coming in from the URL as well. Okay, so um, let's see. I think it should be fine. Yeah, so what happens in this line? We use friend 
Frying to update. Frying to update. The record of frying to update. We have to find it by the ID. And then the index is the index of that friend in the list. So because we are going to update it in place uh, without having to uh, or have to select and insert it back, we have to update it right in place. We are going to say friend index dot first name. We uh, we update the first name, update the last name, and update everything with the friends coming in from as uh, from the request. So now I'm going to change the return type to list of friends. And finally, we are going to do the list. So basically, we simply remove this item from the list. So I'm going to go to my website, and simply find by ID and simply remove it. It's as simple as that. So in this case, we only need uh, the ID coming in from the URL parameter. And after deleting, we are going to return the updated list. So I'm going to say here, uh, we're going to return the updated list of frames. Again, all the steps are right here in my website, so please feel free to follow. And if you have any challenges, please let me know. Okay, so this is what we have right now. And we are going to test it now and let's see how it works. So in this case, we, are fi we find the frames and then remove it. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to save everything and I'm going to run it. But there's a problem. We can only do GET requests using a browser. So from Internet Explorer, we can do GET, but when it comes to POST, PUT and DELETE, we have to use a, a REST client. So let's start with FRIEND, and this is OK. So let's select FRIEND number 1 by saying slash 1, hit the ENTER key, and it selects FRIEND number 1, if I go back, let's just make sure it works. I'm going to select friend number three. Uh, friend number three is Jaden. And in friend number three, you can see ID of three is Jaden. Okay. So the gate works. Now we need to try the post. And now we need to use a REST client. So I'm using Postman. I'm also using advanced REST client. So I think I, think I have advanced REST client. That is are uh, very easy to install because it's an add-on add to Google Chrome. So basically, if you want to install it, you simply say advanced REST client and you simply add it to Google Chrome. So it comes as an extension, you simply add it. I've added it so the launch button uh, shows up right here. But if you've not added it, it's going to show add to Chrome. All right. so. <coughs> We are now in REST client, let's see. And so I'm going to go copy this URL from here. I'm going to copy, let's just make sure everything works. So I'm going to paste. Of course, you can make a GET request here as well. So I'm going to send, this is a GET request. And you can see right here, it returns the ID of three. Of course, you can do it for everything and it returns everything as you can see let's now add a new item to the list so to do that is the best and the, best, the easiest way to do is to just copy this uh, i can add like item number six so to do that i'm going to go to change the method from here to post and i'm going to the body and i'm going to paste this and i'm simply going to change it to item number six i'm going to change this to Another name, Lizzie. I'm going to change this to uh, Reynolds. Okay, Reynolds stays in London. <laughs> An imaginary name, maybe. So let's see if this is going to insert and update the list and return the updated list to us. So I'm going to click on Send and it says OK. So let's scroll down just to make sure. So you can see it added as item number six right here. Okay, so this is about the post. Let's now try out put. So let's say I want to change Liz Reynolds to um, to some other name. Let's say item number six. So what we are going to do is to say slash frame slash six. And we are now going to modify the first name. Let's change the first name to 
let's just change it to Kalina. Um, let's change the location to Hungary. Okay, so let's do this boot request. Remember, you have to change the method here to boot. And I'm going to say send. Uh, the application breaks. So it says on handle exception. Um, oh, yeah. So I think I know where the problem is coming from. So let's stop this for now. I'll explain this later on to you, but let's just come back here. Okay, so let's start from selecting everything. So let me select everything using gate. So I'm gonna select everything, select gate. Okay, so for me, I'm gonna change my name. That is item number one. Okay, and uh, let me go to change this to post. Now, instead of changing, having my last name, Munoye, I'm going to change my last name uh, to the genius and my first name to uh, KTTP, Kind Turn the Tech Pro. And yeah, so let's see if it changes. And the ID for sure should be one, I think. So let's see if it changes my name to this. So I'm going to but let's just uh, check the, yeah, fine. So I'm going to send, and it says not found. I think Microsoft, uh, let's see. I think the, let's see, 44352, let's see, 44352. Yeah, oh yeah, so we are doing a post request. So this has to be a put request at this point. So I'm going to send this request and it says okay and you can see the name change change right here. Okay, so let me delete uh, my record, that is record number one. So it's basically you simply go to delete and specify the route that is slash of frame slash the ID or uh, the ID of, of the person and then delete and let's see if it deletes this record so i'm going to just send okay so it went so record number one is gone so we are going to stop here in the next part we are now going to continue because we are going to talk about how to store your data in a database because right now we have coded everything but we are going to store the data in a database as on part three and in the, in the in the following part, we now see how we can build an MVC application. In this case, we're going to generate the view, see how it relates to the controller and also relates to the model and uh, saves the data. So I'm going to stop here. Remember to subscribe to my channel. And also, if you have any challenges, please let me know in the comment box below. I'm kind to the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.